Okay, so uh, Albert Howard was sentenced to death in the year 1983. He spent 26 years in jail um, on death row, and he was never executed. Albert died of natural causes in the year 2009. Likewise, free, uh, Fred Freeman, he too was sentenced to death and spent 22 years on death row. However, he was never executed. He died of natural causes in the year 2009. And the list goes on of how many inmates died from natural causes while they're on death row. Okay, in this speech I'll begin by uh, telling you guys what the opposition side of this argument has to say to uh, Proposition 34. Um, according to uh, Michael Ramos, a San Bernardino County District Attorney, the California Proposition 34 is a slap in the face to um, the victim's families because uh, the death penalty was instated by the citizens of California for a reason. Likewise, according to um, Orange County Register, if life without the possibility of parole becomes the highest form of punishment, then we, be, then we may become like Norway, in which Andrew Berwick murdered 69 people and was sentenced to 21 years in jail. However, California is going through a crisis right now. According to Governor Jerry Brown, our California deficit is almost double what it was said to be in the year 2012 to 2013. It was said to be 9.2 billion, however, it is now 16 billion dollars in deficit. Due to that, he is planning to raise taxes, raise um, sales taxes, as well as cut back on CalWORKs. California's unemployment rate right now is a 10.2 percent. So, um, in this speech, I will tell you why Proposition 34 is important to, for you guys. Why it's important for you guys to listen to Proposition 34, given the fact that California is going through an economic crisis. We cannot afford to spend money on a system that is broken down right now. I will hopefully get you guys to see past the emotional side of this argument and onto the economic side of this argument. I will begin to tell you guys about a little bit about the background of, of the death penalty. So, according to the death, death penalty information website, this is a website where all um, accounts of um, Inmates that are on death row and that have been executed all over the country are put in. Um, as of July 2012, California has 725 inmates on death row. 83 of them have died prior to their execution date, and 75 of them had have, have um, had their sentence reduced. The last inmate to be executed in California was in the year 2006. The reason why um, the death penalty in Cal uh, California is more expensive because it's held in two trials. The first one being the guilt trial, in which a person is um, decided if it's if he's guilty or innocent. The second trial, uh, the person. Um, the, the jury decides whether they are going to be sentenced to life without the possibility of parole or life in prison, I mean death. Um, each trial requires jur uh, courts, judges, and attorneys. According to Judge Arthur Allercourt, which was, um, he was an L.A. County District Attorney, which pros he prosecuted capital case capital cases. Um, the life a death trial runs three to four weeks more than uh, 
then uh, then a life without the possibility of parole case. Therefore, it's two hundred thousand more dollars with uh, when you're convicting someone of, with the death penalty. Um. In the year 1978, which was the year in which the death penalty was reinstated, which, because prior to it, it was thought to be unconstitutional, um, we have executed 13 inmates out of the 900 that have been put that have been put on death row. However, like I said, prior to it, um, 83 have died prior. And to their death execution, as well as 75 have had their um, their sentence reduced. Um, okay, there are two forms of um, executing to in, uh, the inmates on death row, one being the lethal injection and by gas chamber as well. Um, by, um, and okay, so according to uh, the analysis held by Judge Arthur, about four billion dollars have been spent on the trials of, on death trials. 1.94 billion spent on the pretrial and 1.94 on the trial itself. Four billion dollars to execute 13 enemies of 900. Okay. If, um, likewise, according to the death uh, penalty information website, if California were to execute all 725 inmates, inmates at a rate of two and a half years apart, it would take 906 years to execute all of them. At this, we can conclude that most of them would die prior to their execution date. Okay. Um, what Proposition 31 has to offer is that they will repel the death penalty and make, making the life without the possibility of parole the highest form of punishment. The highest form of punishment. Also known as California State Act. Likewise, uh, these inmates will be required to work within the prison's walls and the earnings will go to their, um, the victim's families. According to the California ballot, as well as Judge Allen, uh, the analysis held by Judge Arthur, about $100 million will be saved with, uh, for the first few years, increasing to $130 million after. About $5 billion will be saved um, for the, uh, within the next 20 years. And one hundred million dollars of them will be will go to law enforcement, uh, which will help solve homicide and rape cases. So, in this speech, I have informed you guys what um, a brief background of it, um, how much money is being spent on the death penalty, and what Proposition Thirty Four has to offer. We can't afford to spend money on a system that is broken down right now since it, California is going through an economic crisis. 